It's Monday! Hi, hi! This is a voiceover, Beth. Um, so basically what I did on Monday was I got lots of pieces of paper and I overlapped them all on a board so that I could draw over them. Um, I started off in pen with um, blind contour drawing. The reason for overlapping would be because when I separate them I would have lots of different starting points instead of just the one um, to then go over and to add different elements to using different materials. So this is me starting drawing. It's really really difficult to look at the object instead of at the page, especially because I would have to check that my camera was still recording and obviously I could see it reflected in my screen while I was drawing, so it was kind of difficult. Um, but I wasn't honestly too fussed about it because, I mean, there was nothing I could do to change that anyway. And it was... It was quite good because I would be able to see whereabouts there wasn't many lines so that I could add extra lines there so it was all kind of even. So this is basically what my drawing ended up looking like in the end. Um, you can see different elements, like you can see the scissors in the top left corner and you can see parts of where the shoe actually does look a little bit like a shoe, like the laces and the sole of it. And then, for some reason, in the, the top right corner, Remy from Ratatouille appeared in my artwork, and after I made that connection with my brain, I couldn't stop it, so... It's kind of like when Jesus appears in somebody's toast. <laughs> Hey Toby! Hey Toby! Hey Toby! Hey! 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 What? What day is it? Tuesday. So now I'm just showing you um, what all of the individual pieces look like when I took apart the big paper monstrosity that I made. The fainter lines that you can see is the original drawings which I drawn in a really thin drawing pen and then the darker lines that to top on top of that is uh, a sharpie marker um, just to add extra lines in just to give me a little bit of something else to think about. Um, the piece that I'm looking at now is an upside down version of the Ratatouille piece. I just did some drawing on top of that in hopes that I could salvage it, but I'm still saying up upside down Ratatouille, so I don't think it quite worked. It's really, really strange when you're doing abstract pieces because it's more of a, you have to rely just kind of on your instincts. Like here, I was kind of just like, well, I like this bit. Um, I think we should add some blue to this part or something. It's not really a conscious decision that I make. It's more of a, oh, I feel like this would be better if like there was more blue over here or 
it would balance out more. Um, but like I said, it's not really a conscious decision. But it's kind of like when I start, I have no idea where the piece is going to go. And then slowly, slowly, you kind of start to get like this high idea in your head, like, oh, I could do this, or I could add this color here and do this. Um, I think at this point, I kind of knew what I was doing, or how I wanted it to look at the end, um, which is why I added the green for the leaves. Spoiler alert. And then here I'm just drawing on the over the top with a drawing pen, which I think I got from the works. This for me was a strange piece. Um, I kind of have always had this thing where if people tell me what to do with my artwork, I am a bit of a diva and I'll kind of go into a stage of denial. Like a lot of people have told me that my work is very illustrative. But the thing is, is I know this, um, but the first time that somebody told me that my work was more illustration than artwork was actually when I first joined the Chester University. I was actually, it was for my interview and the tutor was like, hey, um, I am, what, is there any particular reason why you've chose a fine art course instead of to do the illustration course? Because a lot of your work is quite illustrative. And I was like, um, because I'm a fine artist, I am not an illustrator. Um, and then a couple of weeks back, someone else mentioned it. And I get a lot of comments on my social media of people saying that my illustration work is great. And I'm like, but I'm not an illustrator. Um, but actually, with this piece, I, I actually came to terms with the fact that I might be an illustrator. Um, or at least my work would have some elements of illustration within them. Okay, here's my next piece. Um, I'm just kind of filling in shapes that I see at the minute. I think this was also kind of inspired by flowers or nature. But I'm also really big on patterns and mark making, so I think this is me just kind of doing that. Uh, fun, fun fact, it's not really fun. I almost cried. I, this is blue drawing ink that I'm using at the minute, and literally, I think in about 30 seconds time, I knock it over. And I spill it all on the carpet. Um, and it gets all over my hands, and I honestly thought I was going to cry, but to be honest, I managed to get the stain out pretty well. See, you can see now that my hand is like really, really blue. Uh, it's because I tried to catch all of the ink that was dripping onto the carpet with my fingers. I think we can move on to the next piece now.
camera actually crept out halfway through filming this one. Um, so this is the final image. What are we doing? Because last time you told me that we were doing a stick and I'd understand it. And you didn't tell me what it was. <laughs> I'm just and then gonna, you started it and then just, I didn't know what I'm it was. I'm just going to do it. You don't have a speaking <laughs> and roll you put on it this in one. the video anyway. You don't have a speaking roll on this okay. one. Okay. What do I... So... Do I do anything? No. Okay. Just look pretty. Ahoy there. Oh, no. <laughs> Why? Um, it's Wednesday. It's the middle of the week and I am doing no work today because we have just gone to see Far From Home and I don't want to be an artist anymore. I've decided I'm becoming Spider-Man. Sup guys? Spider-Man here. It's Thursday. Let's do some art. Go web go. Thank you for that, Spider Man. Um <laughs> Guys, I'm friends with Spider Man. Uh so this is I know I was said that I was I think I was supposed to be doing bigger work this week, but I actually took a date off from that. I pre-painted some pages and now I'm just doing continuous line drawing over them. Uh, this turns out to actually be my favourite piece, I think, out of this entire week. Maybe out of last week as well, I think this is my favourite. Monday, I got lots of pieces of paper and I set them all up and we did blind contour drawing and then after that I separated all of the pieces of paper into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 separate drawings. Then on Tuesday we added some more, we added some ink, we added some sharpie, we added a little bit of colour. And then on Wednesday we did absolutely nothing. Mm -mm. Did absolutely nothing on Wednesday because I went to see 
a movie. And it was Spider-Man. And it was good. Spoiler free zone. And then we had Thursday. And I had a special guest. And it was Spider-Man. It was not. It was me. Ha. So what are we doing today? Hmm? What are we doing today? I have um, a little a few bits of paper that I want to go over. I'm going to do continuous line drawing today. I am setting up an even bigger drawing. This time, instead of A4, I am using A2 pieces and it's going to be big and it's going to be beautiful and I think I'm going to do some, some charcoal drawing in there because uh, it is the last day of the week. I mean, I'll probably do some artwork over the weekend, but it won't be in this video, it'll probably be in the next video. So, what we're going to do is today, today, we're going to do big drawing. But for now, I'm going to set up my space. I'm going to put all these big pieces of paper up and we will see where it leads to. Um, Are you still recording? Excellent.
I'm not gonna lie, I've been waiting for a good couple of days now to get onto doing continuous line drawing because as much as I love blind contouring, I actually fell in love with the con with the continuous line drawing when I did it last week. Um, but it's written down in my schedule to do it, so I've been waiting for like a week and a half to have another go at it. And honestly, I think I love it. Like, I'm so in love with it. Um, I just think it's really cool. I think the lines are really cool. And it's like, it's a way of putting down extra lines without erasing them and I don't know, I just really like the style of them. Um, so I think I might do some more of these because I actually... I'm so happy today. Like I'm in my studio and I've done charcoal drawing and I've done continuous line drawing and... I don't know, I'm incredibly... I just feel really light and just really really happy. Like I've done something amazing. Um, so I'm definitely gonna do more of this. Um, this is our chili plant um, and this is what I have drawn. A little bit of um, a little bit of viewing some of my work now. Um, these are the the drawings that I did from week one, the blind contour drawings, um, and then this one is this one is a continuous line drawing, and this one is a continuous line drawing from the first week as well. And um, this one's personally my favourite of everything that I did from week one. Um, and then I kind of moved on to doing some collage in week one as well, um, where I used I used yellow paint, yellow acrylic paint. This is a bit of a metallic pen over here. Um, this is a blind contour drawing of a flower, and then all the shapes you can see in the background are wrapping paper that I cut up and used. This one's a little bit different. It's on a grey background, um, yellow acrylic again blue paper, um, a blind drawing here, but instead of cutting it so that it was perfectly A4, I left some little bits hanging over because I actually thought that was pretty cool. And then this is the other collage that I did from that week. I don't like this one personally. I think I, think I used too much medium. I think I... It was too mixed for me. I shouldn't have used the metallic pen on that one, but I'm keeping it up anyway because it's reminding me of what I don't like in a piece. And then this is the one from that week that I added colour to, the orchid piece. And now we're going to move on to some of what I've done this week. Um, here are two pieces that I haven't added colour to yet. Um, these are part of the original big drawing that I did when I separated out the pages. Um, so these are just line drawings at the minute. And then we're going to move on now. Um, personally, this is a piece that I hate. I think there's just too much going on. It was too messy and I kind of stopped painting it, um, but I might come back to it and add some stuff. As you can see, this one here doesn't, this one doesn't have colour on, so this is what they were like before and this is when I've added colour over the top of them. Um, this one also isn't finished, <coughs> but I really like this bit. Um, so I'm just gonna leave it as it is and then I might finish it later, but I doubt it. I just really like this bit. Like, I like the gold star in the middle. When I can get the camera to focus, there we go. Hi! So I like the gold star in the middle and the colours around it, so I quite like that. This one is one of my favourites. This one is one of my favourites. Um, I drew on top of it. Um, there's not really much to say about it, really. Um, flowers are kind of a thing that I just do. And I just, <clears throat> I don't know, I just really like it. Um, there's not really much to say about it. Uh, this is the first one that I did. Um, and I kind of really like this one too, to be honest, as well as this one. Um, this one got a little bit patchy, it got a little bit messy, and I'm not quite sure if I like it yet, but we'll see. I might add some more to it next week. And then this one definitely isn't finished. I think it started off being a sunflower, but I I think I got too lazy to finish it. And then this one is my personal favorite from this week, which is um, I used a pastel highlighter to do these bits and then acrylic paint to do the back bit. And then this is a continuous line drawing um, 
which as we have discovered I'm actually in love with so I really like this one and I really like the little star embellishments that I add to it. <coughs> so yeah, that has been my work for this week. Um, not including the big pieces that I did, the really big ones, the A2 ones. Um, because I am going to include those in next week's vlog so if you want to see what happens with those I guess you'll have to watch next week's vlog so thank you for watching guys um, and I will see you next week <laughs>